Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Starlord and today we're going to be taking a look at a few of the new items that you can find in the new vault -Tec Workshop DLC. So of course, I've done this for every DLC in the past and they've been pretty successful and you guys like me showing off the items. So I thought I would continue the series and do this one. So as you can see right here, I do have a big, huge vault door blocking my path. And yes, that is actually something that you can place down in this DLC. And what I really love about it is it has this little compartment where the cog actually rolls into in a cool kind of smooth motion. A very nice touch from Bethesda. So let's actually close that door right there. Make sure no death claws get in. And we're going to go from here. So firstly, you can see that there are different types of walls. Please make sure to check the walls as we're looking at the items, guys. As you know, I won't really be talking much about that. But as you can see here, the previous overseer is actually sitting on a brand new, I guess that's a Poufon? Is it a Poufon? Oh, an Ottoman. Okay, it's an Ottoman. And we also have a new couch to go with it. Now, they was actually in the game before they added these ones in, but these are much nicer looking. They're a little bit more cleaner than the other versions. So, yeah, pretty cool that they've actually just added that in. Moving on, we now have these kind of little arrow things that you can place down, as well as these things right here. So as you can see, it says screening. Now, if you had an operation theater room, you would put this on the entrance to know that people, you know, that, 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 that's that room. So let's see. So you have a research lab, you would put it right there in the entrance of the research lab. You know, it's, it's, it's just common sense. So let's continue on. We now have a rainbow set of chairs right here, which I thought was actually a pretty cool touch that they decide to go with like the kind of rainbow kind of look, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, indigo and violet. Pretty cool. Moving on, we ha now have these like little mats. I guess yeah. they're for the bathrooms or anything in general, but we have a messy version if you guys like to be, you know, law friendly and kind of have your settlements all messy and shit, or you can have it like mine where I like it all neat and tidy. Or like that. Also, as you did see, we do have these new vault -Tec posters, both new and old. We have these new ones that have been untouched and they're pretty good. They've still got their yellow and blue color, um, but we also have these other ones which are quite messy, torn up, and I really enjoyed that they actually added the messed up versions in too. Moving on, we also have a couple of new televisions. Also, some different things for your lavatory, so we now have a chrome kind of toilet, a fountain, and a sink. Also, as well as these little signs, we get some light-up boxed ones, so if you actually prefer to have these ones, you can. So, pretty cool. Again, moving on, we now have three new different radio speakers. I prefer this one, it just looks great. I love the wooden feel and the wooden look. It, it just looks great. Whereas this one... I don't really understand it, it's still pretty messed up and shit, it just looks like the very old one, but I guess, I don't know, I guess there's some kind of difference, but I just haven't noticed it. Again, right here we have a vault tech speaker, which you mainly only find in the vaults. Moving on, we have a couple of storage units there. Some new beds, so as you can see there too, we do have a couple of new signs, you know, a warning sign, a construction sign, and a fall sign. So that's pretty cool that they actually added those in, so make sure to look at them as we're going past. Again, here we have a lot of new storage and a lot of new desks, especially these ones are my favorite. Like I said, I love the wood effect. It's definitely my favorite. And over here you will see the famous Vault Boy and Vault Gale putting up their thumbs. Let's just take a minute to go outside here and you will see that we now have those planters from the Pyridin, 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 blah 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 blah. Um, you know, you get to see these on the actual on the actual uh, ship itself, not the ship, but you know, the, the blimp itself, and it was kind of unfortunate we couldn't put them in our settlements, but now we can. Also, moving up here really quickly, I will show you the two new reactors that you can get in this DLC, which are absolutely insane. This one being in the normal one, which you will actually find in pretty much every vault, that produces 150 electricity, and if we move on to this other one, the vault -Tec Super Reactor, it actually produces 500. Very cool indeed. This one just looks amazing. Damn, when I saw that, I, I thought it was a robot head at first, to be honest, because I saw it on the floor somewhere down there, like, knocked over, and I, I was like, holy shit, it's like a huge robot head, but I later found out that it was the reactor. Pretty cool looking design right there. 
So let's again make our way back to where we became and let's continue on. As you can see right here, we have now a red little light and a green light. We also have a white light which is attached to our Rob Boy's dick because, you know, he's ready to go. And we continue on, just a lot of new storage wooden spaces. As you know, the vault also has a lot of wooden materials inside it. So yeah, it was kind of fitting that they added those in. Onto the kitchen appliances, we have a trash can now. We also have, I believe this is a coffee machine or an espresso machine. Yeah, a, the Sicilian espresso machine. So pretty cool they added that, even though it, it doesn't fucking function. So yeah. Okay, moving on, we have a Nuka Cola clock. Also, a. I forget what this is called. I had one in my work. It actually produces, you know, hot water and shit like that. It's an urn, that's it. It's an urn. Also, here we have, I believe, it's maybe an ice dispenser? Let's have a look. It just says dispenser, but it kind of looks like, to me, one of those ice dispensers that you'd have on a fridge. Also, as you've probably noticed, we do have a lot of new different kind of kitchen countertops, both small and large, including ones that have, uh, you know, the little dinner kind of uh, things. I'm, I'm thinking that underneath there is meant to be a heater to keep the food warm on top of there. So pretty cool. Also, here we have a new Etotronic, which is pr like cleaner than the other version, I guess. I don't know why they would have added that in. It just looks the exact same, but it's Bethesda. What, what, what else? Okay, something pretty cool that I will be using in a couple of my builds are these new storage spaces. You can actually get filing cabinets that are very similar to this, but I thought these were pretty cool. They were really, really awesome. I would love if you could actually put things inside them, but I haven't yet tried. And as you can see in the background there, we now have these pizza, burgers, uh, like sandwich kind of wallpaper or just vault uh, kind of, I don't know, vinyl, I guess, which is pretty cool. Here again, just a lot more storage space, and it's just all storage space in this DLC, to be honest. Again, here are the filing cabinets that I actually, you know, kind of mentioned earlier. Here we have a hamper for your dirty washing, so all you guys who have shitty undies, you know, just throw it in there, wait for your mum to come and collect them. Uh, all those very hard socks, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, the ones there, if you like bang them on the table, it's like, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, you just put them in there, your mum will wash them, and they'll be soft and silky again. Moving on, we also have a lot more storage. It's just constant storage in this DLC, but still pretty good. And of course, a vault wouldn't be complete without the vault, you know, kind of uh, trunks that you actually see, you know, Vault 88 on. I'm glad that I added in a messed up version and a clean version. I'm very happy that they did that. Moving on, we have some brand new couches, which look pretty cool. Definitely using them for my settlements. And again, some counters from diners. And we've made our way back to the original red couch. As you can see, there's the blue one, there's the red one. So now we're going to look at these. So here we are, we have these new kinds of cafeteria tables, which you find in the vaults, you know, cafeterias. Here is a projector, I believe. Yeah, it's a projector, but it doesn't actually project anything. So it's kind of useless. So it's just an inanimate object, completely inanimate though. So yeah, it's kind of useless that they added that in, but still pretty cool. Here is definitely one of my favorite designs that Bethesda have thought of, and these tables, you can actually can kind of customize them to whatever you want. It's really cool. I will show you an example in a minute, but that design right there is very nice. Definitely one of my favorites. So yeah, moving on, just more tables. This one kind of looks like the PC desk that I wanted from IKEA. But yeah, I never got it because I'm an idiot. But yeah, lots of variants from that getting smaller until we actually get to this bad boy. Look at that. That is actually customizable with whatever corners you want. And I don't know, that was just a really nice touch. I'm really happy that they added that in. Let's move over to here now. We have a couple of new Christmas cheese. As you can see, looks pretty cool. Very nice. Of course, people modded this into the game a long time ago, but... Bethesda was actually not releasing it until this DLC, so yeah, very happy that they've added those in. And if we move on, we have a new guard post, which is basically like a kind of barrier, which is really cool. Kind of wait to see the different kind of things that is used for. And if we move on, we also have a receptionist desk. Again, we have a barber's chair and a plastic surgeon's chair, just for ease of access. You know, you can actually customize your settlers and not your settlers, but yourself, I believe. I don't know. But yeah. 
Let's move on. A couple more things. Don't really know what they're used for. And I think we're about to actually get to the end. We also have this one very cool... Well, I, I guess it's a kind of item that you can actually manage the population of your vault. Very cool addition to the game and save you ever want to actually track your, you know, your kind of companions that have went missing. You can actually just go here and press all companions and it will actually track everyone who you have had as a previous companion. You just bring up your menu, go over to map and let's have a look, see if it's there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go over to data, overseas most wanted, and then if we go over to here, you'll actually see that it actually locates for us Preston Garvey and Dogmeat, which is a really cool addition. I'm very happy that they actually added that in. But guys, I think that's about it, to be honest. There's a little bit more to this DLC, not just this. Of course, there is the different kinds of walls and everything that you can use, but, you know, that's basic stuff you guys probably already know about. There is also a tutorial coming up on how you can actually get the Vault Suit, which is a unique item. It's pretty cool. I've had it up for a little while now, and yeah, I'm going to release it in the next day or two. So yeah, that, look out for that guy, guys. Anyhow, I'm sorry this isn't like all of the previous kind of showcases. It was a bit hard for me to actually get this all done with my son crying and, you know, everything happened at my house. So yeah, I am really sorry about that, but I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!